Okay guys, just an update for you guys who don't know. I've actually been having a raccoon eating some of my chicken, which is not okay. I've set out some traps for him, and I think today, I finally got it. The main reason I knew is because Sheba was out here barking at him, and that's like honestly the only reason that Sheba wouldn't be asleep right now. But here he is, bro. Oh my goodness. There's his foot. I set it up with his pallet. There's his hand too. That's okay. I don't know how he's done that, honestly. He's got himself all wrapped up in this pallet. But what I done was set those pallets here because I had to have something to put the trees on. He ain't dead. He's definitely still alive. He just got his foot right there in the trap. Not hurting him at all. It's just sitting there holding him like something would hold his hand. That way he can't get away. What I'm going to do with this guy is I don't want to kill him. I don't have any reason to kill him. I just want him out of here. So what I'm going to do, and that's the good thing about traps like this, is that I can actually keep him alive, take him out, put him in a cage, and then send him off somewhere. Else. Because even though I do do a lot of trapping, I don't want that coon right now. I mean, I just I don't have any reason to kill him. As long as he can get far gone from here, far away from my chickens, I, it's fine with me. So I'm just going to get him out. However, first I'm going to go put some jeans on and some big boots. Because if he does bite me, I don't want to die. Because they do carry rabies. Not all of them, but a bunch of them do. Coons are one of the number one animals for rabies. And if you get rabies, there's not many people at all that survive rabies. Actually, to be honest, guys, I think there's literally one person in the world that survived rabies. Like, that's it. There's only one. Only one case ever. Or at least that's what my doctor said whenever I got bit by the possum. So if you ever see something that has rabies or something that might have rabies, get out of the way. Because if he bites you, the odds are you're not going to live to tell the tale at all. But we're going to get that guy fixed up. Let me go inside, get some long pants on, get some protection, and we will take care of that man very soon. But before I go get that coon out of there, I want to let y'all know, if you want to support the channel at all, if you want to buy some merch, it is kindlegrade1.com slash shop for the website. But on the website, there's a ton of different merch. I got fanny packs, pop sockets, gray grippers as we call them, this Bucky shirt that I'm actually wearing right now, and something new that I'm sort of introducing. It's been on the site for almost about a month now. I've just never told anybody about it yet. But it's this right here. It's the bracelet pack. Now, in the bracelet pack you get five different bracelets up here you get the ss og bracelet down here which is actually the newest one and well there's no other way to get it besides this right now the bucky bracelet and then on the other side of the bracelet it's the legends never die logo but after the bucky you have this one right here this is the predator camo then under that you have the seal camo and then under that you have the red white and blue which basically just turned into a pink tie-dye and then here is the back of all those bracelets but you can go on kindlegrade1.com shop get a closer look at this and now boys it is time let's go destroy a coon the nice way which means relocate him. before i start this i just want to let all y'all know do not try this at home if this goes wrong i'll either one probably lose a finger but i won't die or two i lose a finger and die it sits a lot safer if you just put a bullet through it. but i don't have nothing else to do so i'm gonna catch him anyhow I'm gonna make sure i have some big thick gloves on because like if i grab him with this hand that's where he's gonna grab me back that's how they think but trust me guys, I'm not just going in there like this. I have a catch pole. Now actually one of my subscribers made me this catch pole and I've never used it, but I am now. Here we go boys. Coons, they're basically like miniature grizzly bears. They are in the bear family, so be very careful when you got one live. They are not nice. They are not to be messed with, and they will let you know that. Okay. That's how you do it, son. That's what you do with a chicken eater. He almost ate Patricia. Did y'all hear him, though? That's mean. Like, he's, he's trying to break it. Oh, fun story about this man. Look at him. Look at him. Oh my gosh. Look at what he's doing. He's climbing out, trying to open the cage because I have another cage strap right over there. This dude's literally been opening it for three nights in a row, but this is a different cage strap. It locks a different way. He can't open this one. But on that other cage strap, what he would do is he'd stick his paws out here. This thing, all you had to do is push it back and he could open the door. But this one has this other lock so he can't break out of it. Like, I'll pull y'all over here and show you the cage strap. You can see his paw prints where he's been pushing it down and opening it. He's trying to open it right now and that's how I know it's the same coon because he already knows what to do. Unfortunately, he's done a had lad because Mr. KG done took care of him. Ain't that right, Roger? 
Roger Raccoon in the cage. He's so mean, guys. Raccoons are so vicious. And I will say this real quick. A lot of y'all may be, dude, you're trying to kill him. You're you're choking him out with the thing. Well, no, not really, because I done that once trying to be all nice to it. It got away and kept eating my chicken. And as you can see, he's perfectly fine. Whenever you use the catch pole, you got to set it on him, guys. You got to pull it tight. You can't choke out a coon. And if you do, congratulations. Now he's passed out and can't bite you anymore. He'll be fine, though. It's hard to hurt a coon. And that's what I love about those dog-proof traps right there, foot traps. A lot of people People think that they automatically break their leg but as you can see right down there he's already using his leg he's trying to grab me with it look at him he's already using that leg again that foot trap right there didn't hurt him at all it just held him in place like just like I was saying listen at him growling he's sitting on his butt looking at me now that's scary right there look at him lick his hand it's a little numb right now but, but if he could grab me listen to him uh oh he did not just grab the camera he just grabbed the camera guys look at him he's grabbing the camera Look at that. That's pretty cool. Listen to them noises. Those are signs that he wants to eat me. He's trying to break the trap. He is. He's biting my trap. He's, oh my gosh. He's going to break my trap. He's so mad. Go ahead, dude. That trap's not worked in two years. The last coon done broke it. Look at him. He'll try to grab the camera. That's insane. As long as his teeth can't get me, I'm fine. And just so you know, guys, one more time, he's perfectly fine. I trapped him. I got him out of the trap. He ain't going nowhere. He's perfectly fine. He's just a solid little chicken eater in the cage taken care of. He ain't going nowhere. But the bad thing is, where there's one coon, there's usually more than one. There's about five. So what I'll probably do is set back that trap tonight, probably keep that cage trap over there set, and just trap it for another week, just in case there's another one coming back and he maybe had a friend. Because as y'all may know, coons, well, they're like pack creatures. They travel together a lot of times. Well, at least he didn't steal my pallets. I had it hooked up right here. Look what he has done. He has destroyed this pallet. He's eat it up, man. Look at that. Just pure teeth marks, guys. That's just straight up teeth where he's been trying to dig himself out. And then whenever Sheba came over here and started barking at him, looks like he buried himself up under the pallet and even broke it right there. You're not here to be messed with, even though I just messed with you. Grab it. Grab it. Grab my camera. What's it going to do? You think my camera's going to break you out of jail? I don't think it works that way, dude. I don't, if you steal my camera, it's okay. I'll just go get my GoPro. This is, I may be a vlogger in the coon world. You never know. I just about want to grab his hand and shake it, but then I know that he'll probably drag me through the cage and eat me. Job well done, my dudes. Coon down. Roger Raccoon out of the scenario. If you like that right there, just go ahead and subscribe because this fall, whenever it's actual trapping season and like we're trying to catch coons, it's going to be insane, guys. We'll be catching everything. Fox, bobcat, coon, possum. I mean, he's not a possum, but... That's what we'll be catching. Coyotes also. Coyotes. I'll show you how to catch a coyote if they're maybe are eating all your deer or something. Just go ahead and subscribe because all that stuff is coming this fall definitely. For you guys who aren't up to date on the chickens, I've had these guys for about four or five months now and I have yet to get an egg out of them. Which is normal because I raised them from chicks and chickens don't lay eggs until they're about six months old. Sometimes longer than that. And right there's Patricia. That's the one I was talking about. See? The one with the funky haircut? Listen, guys. The coon had a hold of her one night, but somehow she slipped away. I still don't know how she done that. But Patricia, man, dude, she's a trooper. She got out of there. She said, talk to the wing, Roger the Raccoon. But for you guys who are not aware, every single Saturday, I do a verse of the week. From the same book that hashtag Jesus was from. The Bible. But I've done this a few times. This week, it's not actually a verse. It's sort of just like a... Sort of a good idea, I guess. It's just an overall good point. But that point is, what do you put your yourself worthy in. and what is number one in your life so let's say that you play on a basketball team and you put that basketball team and your basketball efforts and your skills number one that's gonna be great whenever you're winning all the time whenever you're hitting those three-point baskets and stuff and whenever you're winning all the games you're gonna be living life the best you can live it you're gonna be sky high you're gonna be loving every minute of life but what happens whenever you start losing and you start missing whatever you put first in your life that performance dictates on how you feel as a person and even with me i find myself doing this with like dumb stuff like YouTube views. Like I admit it guys, sometimes the source of my strength is YouTube. And whenever I'm getting a bunch of views, that's great. But whenever I'm not, it's a different story. And I know that YouTube's like my job and everything and that's how I make my living, but God is definitely all the time more important than your job. If God is truly number one and the source of your strength in your life, which he should be, your happiness can't go up and down because God loves you the same, which is so intense all the time. Like in a basketball game, you can miss a three and be sad. 
God doesn't miss. Like, he's a can Hawkeye, dude. He don't miss. Or Green Arrow, depending on what universe you prefer. Personally, I prefer Marvel. It's just the one I started on. Don't hate me. But I want y'all to think about that real quick. What is number one in your life? And what is dictating how happy you are? But do that, guys. Please hit the like button for me if you're liking this content right here. If I should do more trapping, I can't really do too much trapping because it's not exactly season. But you better believe it. If something gets in there and tries to hurt Patricia, I will protect her with all my chest muscles because i don't have a heart i'm a robot okay guys better end it there hey gray gangsters thanks for watching another lit video by kendall gray go to kendallgray1.com slash shop to pick up some more of these lit stickers these bracelets or even some of these dope pop sockets here don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time